Welcome to another video. So I'm really curious, what are the most popular CAD software solution? So as you may know, if you follow my channel, I create a lot of content, especially for CATIA, but also SOLIDWORKS and Fusion. So these are the three CAD software solutions that I use. And I also make use of Blender, 3ds Max, Unity and Unreal Engine. So in order to find out what are the most popular CAD software solutions. I did a little bit of research and as we can see over here, these are some of the most popular. In order to have them summarized, I made use of BARD. So we see over here, what are the most commonly used software, even though I have a mistype over here, BARD managed to correct that. And we see that the most commonly used CAD solution in companies, because this is what is, uh, let's say, important. It is AutoCAD, as you can see. The second most commonly used is SOLIDWORKS from the SAR system. Afterwards, Inventor. So those two solutions are quite, are quite similar. As you can see, this is sim similar to SOLIDWORKS, but it's considered to be more user-friendly. I don't know exactly, since I'm mostly a SOLIDWORKS user, I consider that SOLID is more user-friendly, so this may be a little bit biased, but I know that those two solutions are quite um, quite similar. We see also Revit over here, we see Siemens, and uh, over here we have Katia on the sixth position, according to um, the summarize done by Bard. We also have uh, Creo over here. And Fusion 360 is on the last position. Keep that in mind that Fusion 360 is quite, um, let's say, similar to the other solution from Autodesk, which is Inventor. But this is a most, um, let's say, affordable solution. So you're gonna see why Fusion uh, has some advantages over uh, Inventor, but also Inventor in other cases have um, has many advantages. So let's take a look at the number of users for each solution. And we see, so this is an overall, let's say, estimation for the industry. So we have AutoCAD with over 2 million users worldwide. We have SOLIDWORKS on the second spot with 1 million. Afterwards, we have Inventor, we have Revit, Siemens NX, we see Katia over here with around 450,000 users, Creo, and afterwards we have Fusion, and we see that Fusion has the, let's say, the least amount of user out of, uh, out of those. Now, in order to discuss some of those numbers, we see over here that SOLIDWORKS has 1 million users within industry, so let's say employees in various companies. But if you're gonna take a look, uh, for example, over here on the Reddit forum, two years ago, SOLIDWORKS announced that they have 6 million users. So keep that in mind. Uh, and also 500,000 certified SOLIDWORKS professional. But there are, let's say, a high amount of students within those uh, active users. If you're gonna take a look at um, at the pricing for SOLIDWORKS. I have another previous video regarding this, so I recommend that you're gonna check that as well. But we see that the standard uh, SOLIDWORKS, so this is from 2022. So this starts the essential at around uh, $6,000. So the price is for, a, let's say, lifetime. Afterwards, we have the professional. And we also have the premium. So this has, um, let's say, the, um, the most advanced features and also uh, CNC machining. But there is also the student version. And we see that, I remember a few years ago, like three or four years ago, they would have a promotion when the university um, new, let's say, um, year would start. They would have this promotion for $99 you could uh, download SOLIDWORKS uh, student version. But now, within the last um, 
three years, they have a better um, option for university to acquire SOLIDWORKS and that highly boosted their um, overall users. Because the license, if they are purchased by university, the price goes um, even lower than this. So this is why I consider that uh, SOLIDWORKS will uh, start to climb over other solutions. So we still see that AutoCAD is the mostly wide use solution, but SOLIDWORKS is um, over there on the second spot. Now, if you're gonna take a look over here, for example, um, on this post for uh, from Go Engineer, so um, they have this over here. We saw these six million users for SOLIDWORKS, and this was also pre present over here and presented. So we see that within 3D experience, they have uh, six million SOLIDWORKS users. So keep in mind that. A vast majority of these are students that are learning. And um, yeah, if I'm gonna do the same um, the same search over here. So this was a summarize done by Bard. Let's take a look at ChatGPT. So I will just okay, CAD software without an S using companies. Let's take a look at this. So we see as my last update, so within uh, ChatGPT 2022, we have a little bit of difference over here. So we have AutoCAD on the first. So these, these are the same as the values given by Bard. Afterwards, we have Katia. And only afterwards, we're gonna have Inventor. And Fusion will be positioned over here. So they added ANSYS over here, even though ANSYS is not, let's say, mainly a CAD solution, it's more, mostly a computer-aided engineering software, but I see that this was added over here as well. So these are the summarized done by Bard ChatGPT, but if you want to take a look on a search for Google, for example, if I'm going to search for SOLIDWORKS, we're gonna see that the total results are around um, 56 million, as we can see over here. So this is quite a lot. If I'm gonna search for Katia, so not Katia V5, only Katia, we're gonna see that the total search is uh, lower, so we only have 33 millions. But if I'm gonna search for AutoCAD, okay, let me type that in properly. You can see that this is the most uh, search keyword regarding um, one of the name of the software solution. So 209 million results. This is also, let's say, the older solution. And this is mm, one of the reasons why AutoCAD is so popular. As you can see, this was released 41 years ago. But if I'm gonna type in Fusion 360, we're gonna see that this also has quite a lot of searches so results in this case, 166 millions. And we see that the software was released in 2013. And um, yeah, this is mostly the fact that Fusion is offered for personal use and for hobbies, uh, hobby users. If you're gonna go over here within their platform, we're gonna see that Fusion 360 is still free for hobbyists or personal use. But this is for a non-commercial users um, and it's only available for a three-year subscription for the personal use. And we see that a hobbyist user must generate less than 1,000 US dollars in annual revenues. So this is one of the reasons why Fusion will uh, maybe increase the, the user account. So currently we saw over here on Bar that they are around um, so this is for companies around 100,000 users worldwide, but their overall user number is way higher since a lot of people are learning Fusion as, uh, let's say, a hobbyist or personal use since the software is um, 
free to use uh, for three years in that. Um, so if you compare that with Solidworks or Katia, where you need to have access to the um, educational, usually done through universities in order to have that learn, this is why Fusion will maybe um, start and have um, a bigger percent of the most uh, used solution. So I also went over here on images. And if you're going to see, there are various posts over here. So some pie charts. As we can see over here, CAD software used by designer. The image is quite pixelated, but we see over here SOLIDWORKS with the main dominance. And we don't even have Katia position over here. Maybe it, it is underneath the other. But we have also this market share. So this is an order from 2015. We see over here that the market share for CAD software was dominated by SOLIDWORKS with 22.7%. And if you're going to take a look over here, Katia was only with 1.2%. We have Fusion 360 and we have Inventor and AutoCAD over there. So depending on the industry, this um, can also change. So some industries will use other software solution, more predominant than other. But we see that in the vast majority of the charts, SOLIDWORKS is the leading solution for this. And this is also one of the reasons why on YouTube there are so many SOLIDWORKS videos compared to, to Katia, since this is the most uh, popular solution. So I'm really curious, what is your opinion regarding this? What are the software solutions for CAD that you are mostly uh, using? Because I know that the vast majority of people are not using only one product. So maybe within the university, they studied uh, at least two CAD solutions. And afterwards, they are working uh, mainly in one solution. But I'm really curious to, to find out uh, some, uh, let's say, some, some details regarding this. As we can see within another post over here, SOLIDWORKS Inventor, Autodesk, the most um, used solutions. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I will position a similar video to the left. I will also add a general playlist where I'm going to add similar videos to this one and also a subscribe button to the right. So thanks for watching.